Hello everybody and welcome back. This is our most recently completed project on the Twitch channel. I'm KRX and this is the uh, this is the canal city that we put together and this this part is what we made in the first night and this is essentially just a regular city. Uh, just a regular city. We have all different kinds of zoning in here and such and, and we kind of detailed some of it up. We have a little park here. We have a, a grand library and so on and so forth in this roundabout. So this is a bunch of, you know, this isn't a self-sufficient city right here. Nothing particularly too crazy. Nothing really boat-based at all. It's connected to a freeway, in fact. We never got rid of this area. And we never got rid of this freeway. So this was kind of what gave us the funds that built us up the economy to be able to actually make the main project, which was a city that runs on boats. And you can see that one of the issues after we got up to like 100,000 pop or something like that, it wasn't a very big city, not a very big city, but uh, population-wise. But once we got too big, the, the boat thing just became kind of ridiculous. Like the funny thing is the city is still functioning. The commercial areas are getting goods and such. And let's zoom out and actually take a look at the city as a whole here, because the rest of the city is isolated into different zone types and uh, parks and, and industrial parks and so on and so forth. So the rest of the city is relatively isolated from each other. And people have to then use ferries to get around, kind of like the train city. They had to use trains and boats have to be used to deliver goods and stuff to the commercial areas from the industrial areas. But the problem is we have all four different industrial areas and we have multiple different goods production areas. So the, the ships are just going absolutely crazy. And then, of course, they also deliver to the commercial site. So they're just going absolutely all over the place trying to deliver goods. So that's one of the things you can see this big, massive conga line here. And that's just one of the reasons why we kind of have to move on from this city. It's just... It, it's it ironically everything's working no one's actually complaining about anything the city's making some good money but but uh it's just the but the boats are getting completely ridiculous and we didn't really have the ferry set up that way and i don't feel like going through and and changing that around too much uh the core of the design idea actually well the centerpiece i guess for the whole city was this ziggurat right here we can see if we zoom in we can see that we have uh keys on the lower uh, the tier is is rounded by the key but up here we keep it kind of natural that was just a sort of a community opinion i guess uh, to keep it it was kind of 50 50 whether we should keep it natural or key so we kind of compromised there but these are different neighborhoods uh that have to be serviced by ferries right so most of our population actually lives here we did eventually start adding some population here um, which is quite a bit as well. So so most everybody lives here and here. This is what I, I'd say 50,000 people live up here, at least maybe 60,000. Um, and they're serviced by ferries, which is kind of interesting. So they go, you know, to go to work and stuff like that, they have to use ferries. These are offices through here on the back side of the ziggurat. This was actually the only other mixed zone area that we created. And that was just to uh, just to fill space and, and just kind of be a little bit chop chop. That was when this, things kind of started to fall apart a little bit at the end. This is a cool little zoo, though. I'm pretty, pretty happy with this little zoo. I think we did a good job with it. Looks kind of nice. Fills the space quite, quite well as well. And of course, we had this. Like I said, we have some residential here, some commercial here, some mixed zoning there. But for the most part, everything else we should see is pretty much isolated. We have a rocket launch site out in sort of the, the center of this bay here where we... Uh, where we dug out like what is effectively either a mouth of a volcano or like a crater or something like that. It's kind of like our little secret base. It's kind of a, kind of a cool thing, but it is mostly submerged. We actually went as deep as we could. We ended up hitting the bottom of the map, which is kind of goofy, but there you have it. Uh, just some residential out here to fill this space. Um, garbage Island right here. Again, this is the original self-sufficient sort of section of the city. And, uh, that we needed to build up that money to get things going. We have a nice little agricultural area here, lots of storage and stuff for, for exporting, um, the pastures for processing, and then of course the just the fields here, which I think we did a good job. I think these areas look good. I, I, I usually, we usually try pretty pretty hard to make the industrial areas look different and look interesting. And I think we did, did a good job with that. And we have our little reservoir over here for our water. Um, I'll show you guys where the sewage is actually getting pumped off in a second. Um, we do have a forestry area here. Of course, this map wasn't really a boreal map. It was more of a temperate or tropical style map. So the, uh, we weren't able to actually use the conifers for the logging, which is kind of unfortunate. So this area doesn't look that great, but I do like this little secret beach here. Why did we do that? I don't know. It was, we were just talking about making beaches and stuff and we just made one there. It doesn't really have anything to do with the, uh, with the forestry area, but there you go. Uh, moving along. I guess we're going kind of uh, clockwise through the city here. We have this nice little sort of emer emergency response center here. And then it also kind of leads into our nature park, which I think we did a good job on this. We have a little haunted mansion up here on, the, on this little um, sort of spire type area, rocky spire type area. 
we have housing out or not housing but i guess you know sleeping areas you know campsites and, and cabins out here activities like rock climbing and here and fishing and such and in these little ponds and, and lakes and things amongst the uh you know they're just the sort of the chan channel so i'm pretty happy with that nature park and people are actually using this thing like we've got people traveling multiple months multiple months of journey to get out to there uh, we never did actually like follow a sim as they were heading to a park like that but i i'm pretty sure they'd have to take multiple ferry connections just to make it there uh, we have the oil district here um, some oil uh, most of this is actually most of the actual oil is getting pumped up from offshore we've never really used these too much but they look good here processing of course and then exporting and stuff like that there's we try to make it so there's kind of a flow to it uh, here we just have some generic industries a little bit of terrain here we did end up flattening most of the building areas that we built on and that was just because um canals right like canals are just going to kind of work better if they're with you know if the, if the ground that they're built along is lower to the to the towards the sea sea level otherwise they're just going to look awkwardly deep and, and unfilled right so by keeping this ground pretty low to the low to the ground so to speak or low to the sea level then we're able to kind of make these canals look look nice and that was you know the canals are of course they're they're ferry ways right ferries are coming up and using these areas but but even more than that they're just um places that look kind of nice and kind of chop everything up and make things look kind of distinct here's our ore industry i think we did a really good job on this actually uh looks like we have an issue here with the uh with the hydroelectric in fact is everybody complaining about uh oh wait a second wait a second hold the phone hold the phone here guys no elect no water power what the heck whoops uh-oh interesting we have no water no sewage we have no power so everybody's leaving town guys that's great well the good thing is that's fine in fact actually so we did peak at a uh, hundred thousand but we've just lost a hundred thousand uh we've just lost forty thousand people that's fine we're taking a look at the city and that's what's important guys that's what's important so it doesn't really matter if everybody dies we've already saved the game but technically there was a there was a flowing river here the dam was working that was getting us about 1600 megawatts of electricity so i guess yeah you know we're we're marveling at the uh, the ore industry here which i think looks quite nice and then we noticed that there was uh we have a hydroelectric dam up here which we haven't actually put in before and it was working once upon a time but now we're getting some issues with that that's where our sewage was but apparently because this somehow lost power not sure what happened there but this loses power we stop pumping out water we start pumping out water we stop filling this area we start running water through the dam and and well we start we start losing our electricity so there you go everybody's uh vacating quickly but that that'll be okay we got we got a couple things that'll make that not a big deal lord chirper's castle this was one of the last things we put in i actually kind of like how we line the road with trees they're very regal it looks kind of interesting and um just a little bit of a commercial area so a little tourism commercial area and stuff we just put that in for fun we ended up putting these little waterways back here with the cliffs and stuff we ended up doing a couple waterfalls and i think we did a good job making these look good a little bit of texture issues there but this one looks really really nice and um again we have the uh the gherkin here and some housing and stuff and i just think that kind of fills the space quite nicely tucked in along there i like it commercial areas we have the college or our university right here and it has a couple college sports. We have the American football and the aquatic center, the London Eye here, some leisure activities here, a little sort of little roundabout going on there, although we're not really using it in that sense. Some tourism districts. We have uh, sort of like a little mini Snoopy head, kind of looks like Snoopy a little bit, which includes the um, theme park kind of area here, just a small little thing, nothing too crazy. Commercial over here. Uh, this is offices actually with the observer sort of the space needle clone thing there This is actually kind of a cool little park that we did here. I kind of like this little park Kind of just along in this little skinny strip of land right there just kind of fill in the space And that's honestly guys that I don't think we need to go on and on and on that's kind of that That's kind of the city. We ended up doing pretty much everything we wanted to do We have all the different kinds of parks. We have the zoo a theme park a nature park We have a couple city parks not too much. We didn't go too heavy on the parks uh, it looks like everybody has officially died and moved out of town, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I think we did a good job with the city. 
And uh, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I think the city we're working on right now, right, on the on the Twitch channel is the Desert City. And we should be doing some pretty cool stuff with that. People are kind of excited about that. This one was supposed to be kind of a deserty theme. It ended up kind of more of an oasis style. But I think uh, I think we did a good job with this one. I think things are, uh, things are things turned out pretty nicely here, pretty sleek. I think just the way that we kind of sealed it off and kind of made this area look kind of completed, I, I, I feel good about it. So thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out, watching this episode, this uh, sort of tour and final thoughts for the Canal City. And I will see you guys later.